are live, hopefully. I'm just going to wait for the check my uh, audio and sound. Uh, if you guys can hear me on the live chat, let me know. Okay, if you guys can hear me on my live chat, let me know on the live chat there. All right. Hold on a second here. I'm just going to wait. Okay, look like we have video and, and audio as well. I think we, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. So every time I go live, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. Okay. It's all depend on my internet connection. So, all right, I just finished installing uh, SSP MP on my DF83V. Uh, comes to bar replacement, so easy. I mean, it's not, it's not difficult, right? That's the reason why I'm not doing on live streaming. I already did it, okay? But I'm gonna, we're gonna do the marker test, okay? We're gonna do the marker test on DF83. Uh, so let me show you what I did so far, okay? So, uh, if you're thinking about getting uh, DF83V, here's what you need to do to replace your birds. Make sure upside down your grinder like this. First thing you're going to remove the bottom birds there. Okay. And follow by the top. On the SSP birds on the back, you're going to say uh, fix on it, fix. And then the other one say uh, rotation, okay, rotator or something like that. So you got two. So you got the top and bottom. Obviously, the bottom birds are the rotating birds. So whatever say on the rotator goes down, okay, the down birds. And so this is a fixed. So you're going to put on the top. As you can see, I did a marker around the corner there like so. And I'm going to be installing this and then see what kind of alignments we're going to get from DF83V. Just put back in. Just make sure everything is, uh, works. All right. Put the top cap on. Just like so. All right. And then for me, uh, I put the that one is RPM control on the bottom. Go to the lowest as possible. Or just go low. Okay. I set it 300. Start your grinder. And then you are going to find the zero points. You guys can hear that? So here. My zero point used to be here, obviously, okay, on the bottom. And the, I gain about like, you know, 40, 50 clicks, okay? SSP, MP is much thicker. There we go. So that's the my zero point right there, touch point. So let's take a look at the, my alignment. There we go, guys. Moment of truth. Okay. Moment of truth. You get to see it first. All right, top bar. Let's take a look. Uh, wipe it pretty good here on the top. Wipe. Wipe. Wiped. Wipe pretty good. Uh, that's, that small section, it did not wipe. The rest of them white quite nicely. So I said about what, 80%, 85% wiped? I'm just small section right there. Okay, so that's not too bad. All right, I'm consider pretty good. Pretty good success on that. Alignment is pretty decent. Looking at the bottom. Yeah, bottom is a pretty much wiped as we can see. Yeah, I see some little bit of, uh, on the top, pretty good. I see some section, I see about 85 to 90% wiped. Yeah, so overall, I mean, that's pretty acceptable. Okay. Again, if you are very nitpicky about it, 
So here's all good here. Here all good here. Maybe put one shim right there. You know, that section right there, put the shim on it. That's, it. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, right here. But you know what, I'm not gonna bother. I mean, I think for me, I mean, that's 85% white. Uh, should be good, good enough. Okay, I don't know about you, but I know some people likes to be 100% white, but yeah. Uh, comes to shimming, uh, just uh, put the aluminum foil, like so, okay, just put it underneath. So this one, you got to take your time, okay, take your time. Uh, just do one sheet at a time, okay, one at a time, okay, so that's how you shim it. Yeah, again, just write that section right there, that section. Elsewhere is pretty good white, so. Let's flip, uh, flip the camera back. I know some people, you know, looking for that 100% wiped. Yeah, let me know, okay? I mean, let me know. What do you guys expect? Okay, what are you guys expecting if you're spending, let's say, seven, $800 on grinder? You know, are you expecting perfection? Okay. Uh, comes to uh, P64 from option O. Uh, I did a micro test so far. So far, they're so good. Uh, they're fantastic. Comes to alignment inside, inside the board carrier. They're extremely precise. Uh, comes to DF, Torrent. I really like the DF64 Gen 2. I did a micro test on it. They're pretty right on it, like 90% wiped. Uh, this one, as you can see on live streaming, is about 85 to 90%. So small section here. So for me, I mean, that's good enough. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but if you guys are looking for perfection, just add another, uh, you know, just start playing with aluminum, okay? Just, just do a little bit at a time. You think I might do that too, you know what? Why not? Yeah, let's go for 100% white, yeah. So that's my uh, next project right after my live streaming. Because, I mean, it's, it's no point, you know, show you guys how to do it because that tedious project, you know. Maybe I should do that on my, maybe like edit video perhaps. Every, every time you do it, you got to remove your screw, okay. You're adding th thin aluminum foil, okay. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so you, you, you just got to just do one at a time. Okay, just do one at a time. Uh, some days, you know, if you are lucky, you're going to get right on it at first time. But if not, you, ju you just got back and forth, back and forth takes. Usually, I know some people spend like a couple of hours. Okay. But this is a very easy grinder to work with. So, I mean, just the time. I think you're going to have a perfectly online if you want to uh, burst there. So, and then next thing I gotta do is, hold on a second, some people say lazy 70% is good to me. Yeah, 100% is, again, even my EK43, all right, that's what, $3,000 grinder behind uh, my DF83. Uh, I have to push shim, okay, even that grinder, I gotta shim it like four or five times to you know, get an acceptable alignment. So, I mean, that's why even EK43, you can get, a, you can buy separate bird carrier from aftermarket. That costs you 500 bucks, just a bird carrier. So, it all depends on what you guys want. So, for me, 85% wiped, I mean, that's all right. Okay, I, but again, I think I might uh, add another aluminum foil. Just kind of, you know, play with it. So, you know, let's go for like 90% or 100%. So, uh, again, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming, folks. Uh, we are playing with the F83V, okay? The reason why I opted in to put MP burrs, because I do enjoy filter coffee, pour over coffee. With uh, RPM adjustment, I feel like it's gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna play with the lower RPM versus higher RPM. Lower RPM obviously give you the uh, less fines than higher. So 
So I liked having that option. Okay, I liked having that option. All right, let's see here. Uh, what, what else do we have? Uh, somebody say Jeff. Jeff say a ninety percent accuracy. I'll uh, be good enough to okay push you against the wall. The force. You, yep. You from the even things as well. But again, I mean, even this is. There is a so Marco test is that's entry level test. I mean that's pre basic test. So, I mean if you want to do the true alignment test, there is a tools. Okay, there is a tools out there you can actually purchase. Uh, you can see how R from your alignments are. So, it's depend on how much time and money you want to put into your grinder. So, uh, here I go. Shout out to Mr. Rainbow for the super chat there. The only hundred percent. Okay, there we go. Good. Thanks, buddy. Shout out to Mr. Rainbow. Okay, hold on a second here. Ben say, I still don't think I would be open up my sculptor un unless I... You know what? Here's the thing about the sculptor. Uh, even though they're 64 millimeter, you could but upgrade to other birds, but I saw a couple of videos on it. It's not that easy. Okay, I think I saw a lot of screws we have to remove. All right, yeah. Uh, we have a uh, X a uh, DF83 or DF83V. You know what? Uh, go with the DF83B. Okay, they're a better workflow. Yeah, I think you're gonna like it better. You know, if it costs you hundred dollars extra, yeah, get it. All right. Okay, and and also dial indicator. Uh, Jeff is asking. I think is what he's talking about there. You can actually adjust it. Okay. They have a little Allen wrench. So now you can adjust your 0 0.2. So pretty handy. Okay, so SSP, I gain about 50 clicks. Okay, I gain about 50 clicks on that. So uh, I think there are definitely thicker birds for sure. Okay, there are thicker birds than uh, my DRC birds. Hold on. Uh, Garcia say, uh, best birds for DF64 Gen 2 or both? There's no best. I mean, I mean, you guys are looking for the best. There's no best. Uh, if you want to go with, if you want to do both, I mean, ideally, okay, go with DF64 with, with like, let's say, HU birds, okay, or cast for your espresso. And they depend on what you like. If you want something really clean, go with MP. But you want something between, go with the Caspers. Okay, go with the cast. So they give you that, you know, both, right on between. But if you want an espresso, they have a birds for that as well. If I filter, there's birds for that too. So if I were you, uh, try. Okay. Hopefully you have, hopefully your friends nearby have MP birds versus like cast or HU. So you can try for yourself. I think that's the best way to go. Okay. Uh, Kerry said, yeah, I mean, it is a, I mean, this is a very user-friendly grinder. You can change the numbering system, zero, zero point. My goodness. Even my uh, option O, I have to use a little tape. Okay, I have used a little, the zero point indicator. I cannot move my zero point on, on my P64. Yeah. I think newer, I heard that newer grinder you can, might, you can change, but mine is too old. Okay, from P64, so. All right, I think we are, are we good for today? Yeah. Uh, quick session, okay. I'm trying to share with you. Uh, I just installed the SSP on my uh, DF83. Only thing I gotta do is now, I gotta season it, season the birds, okay. And I gotta season the birds. I mean, at least a couple of pounds for sure. I know they recommend, you know, you know, five pounds, 10 pounds of beans, but I'm gonna at least uh, go through about two pounds first and then start brew some coffee with it and see what happens. All right, hold on a second here, hold on a second, pretend. I think uh, markers are going to respond. Hold on. Jeff said, do you personally think grinder, grinder markers are going to respond 
to the DF directory for pretend it doesn't exist. I don't know what uh, he's asking. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Ah, hold on a second. Jeff said, I think DF83 is such a good deal. Grinder mark, uh, market. I'm going to. Okay. I don't know about it. Uh, I, mean, I mean, for the value, what you're getting, I mean, DF83 is pretty, you know, they're very attractive. Okay, buying. Uh, it's not 64, it's not 98, right on between. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we have a gum C. Gum C, why wasting beans for seasoning? The reason why we are doing that, brand new birds uh, has a sharp edge. Okay. During the seasoning process, you know, they smooth out the birds. So you're going to get a better consistent result every time. Uh, again, I mean, if you are coffee hobbyist, you are going to season it, all right, if you're a hobbyist. But if you're a regular coffee drinker, sure, why waste your coffee beans, right? Because sooner or later, you're going to get seasoned at birds. Sooner or later. Okay, but if you want to be sooner, yeah, season it. Okay, season it. All right. Shout out to Joe there. Okay, we have uh, Joe. Okay, again, okay, if you have any question about uh, all the Torrent grinder, Joe is in the live chat right now. Yeah. So Joe is the owner of Espresso Outlet. Yeah, ask him if you have any question about the DF's uh, 83V. But, hey Joe, if you are watching, okay, I need new screws, all right? Because uh, MP birds are obviously thicker than uh, DRC birds. So this is, uh, this Screws are just barely underneath, okay? So, I mean, they're okay, but, you know, I want to be more low profile, uh, profile screws if, if, you ha if, they, if they make, all right? I want something low profile. This is too thick in a way, but, I mean, it's fine, but I bet you, you know, you, you guys can come up with better screws for this, okay? Yeah, you guys come up with better screws. Works but I think it can be a little better, all right. All right, what else? But again, I don't know how many people are actually trying to upgrade to MP birds on DF83V because, I mean, DRC birds are, you know, they're good enough. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Joe said, I don't have it yet, but talk to, the, yeah, it'd be great. Yeah, just, just get a thinner screws around the top there. Yeah, I want it fits better. All right, hold on a second here. Uh, and the carry said, just receive SK40. The set screw will not go into the hopper. The hole do not match. Hopefully Joe, uh, yeah, hopefully Joe has an answer for that as well. Contact Joe's customer service. Yeah, should be good. So again, uh, only thing I got left to do is I start grinding some, um, I got some Costco coffee beans I got uh, a couple weeks ago. So I'm gonna go through that couple pounds and then uh, next time you see me, we are going to brew some coffee with DF83V with uh, MP birds in it. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to start trying uh, uh, with uh, playing with RPM adjustment. Low RPM versus higher RPM. Yeah. Okay, hold on a second here. Did you get the, uh, Jeff said, did you get the Cochrane beans? Okay. Uh, you know what, you know, here, here's the thing about that, people. Uh, I know some people use a decent coffee beans to season their coffee grinder, okay? So it all depends on how serious about your coffee. But again, like I said, sooner or later, your grinder is going to get seasoned, all right? But if you want to be sooner, yeah, go with, you know, I mean, go through like, you know, a couple of pounds there, five or five, 10 pounds. Uh, Jeff said yours a mess. Yeah, especially French roast. Uh, I have a medium roast, medium to dark roast from uh, Costco. So, yeah, French roast, man. The French roasters are just like oily. It's kind of like burns. It has a lot of oil. Just make sure you season it. Make sure to take it apart and clean it well. Yeah, clean it well. It, uh, don't do it, you know, same day. Just, you know, break it out. A couple pounds here today, a couple pounds tomorrow. Yeah. 
you know, you don't have to be in a hurry. Okay. Okay, folks, I hope you guys like this video. And I'm going to see you guys. Uh, let's do one more session. Okay. Maybe. Maybe let's do one more session. Maybe I'll be back with this. This grind. I'm going to do some seasoning right now. And when I get back uh, later today, uh, let's brew some coffee with it. All right, guys. See you guys later.